Well, there you see the chip count. Kevin Eister way out in front with 10.6 million. Jake Schwartz in second place with 3.2. And right now, Kate Hall on the short stack with 760,000. The winner tonight will take home nearly $1.6 million. Big money on the line. <laughs> You'll also receive the beautiful Ublo watch. The Andes are now 10,000. Blinds are 40 and 80,000. Let's go to the felt. The very talented Kate Hall first to act. Quick fold by her. And now our chip leader, Kevin Eister with King Nine. Oh boy, every hand looks good when you get big chips. He's raised to 160. The New Yorker Jake Schwartz going out. Bill Jennings from Florida gonna fold. And Ben Yu from Los Angeles wants no part of it. Kevin Eister has fired two bullets in this tournament. He's 26 years old, lives in Denver from Lafayette, Louisiana. Kevin Eister's parents in the house tonight. Watching him, seeing if he can win a second title. Okay, Antes have gone up to 15,000 blinds, 50 and 100 now. A couple folds around to the former race car driver, Bill Jennings. He folds as well, and now Ben Yu with a seven deuce of diamonds in the small blind. All in. And he is gonna try to steal this from Kate Hall. Well, going all in with a seven deuce. She's going to make this call. It's a good wow. one. Wow, what a call by Kate Hall. She was a lawyer for six years. Decided to give that up to become a poker player. She's only been playing for two years. This is her fourth consecutive cash on the World Poker Tour this season. And her second final table. She's out in front now with a good shot to double up. I haven't beat Kate in any of these all-ins. I'm over two. And she is so happy with herself right now. Let's see if it pays oh. off. Yes, it does. Ten and six all diamonds. Well, both players have fucked a diamond Walk flush, fly, and it's right? still not over because Ben can make a straight flush if a nine of diamonds comes off. It's a five on the turn, not a diamond. We can make a straight now. <laughs> ben, a good sport about this. He's all smiles. This is gonna be great when Jake folded the nine of diamonds and we're just wasting everyone's time. Kate's gotta sweat one more card to double up. And she does so. So Kate Hall was an attorney for six years, went to Yale Law School. Now we get rid of you. <laughs> 0 for 3 now. WPT Global is committed to being the most fair and secure poker site in the world. Data-driven AI detection technology eliminates collusion and ensures a fair environment for everyone. With zero tolerance for bots and cheaters, WPT Global is trusted by millions of players worldwide. Click the link in the description, use the code YT11 on deposit, and get our welcome package with tournament tickets, deposit match, and more. Talented poker player. They call him Professor Ben. Real student of the game. Well, he's far more than doubled his starting stack at this final table. Starting out with two million, now sitting on 4.5 million. He's just gonna call with a king eight. Kate Hall now with a queen nine. She is the shortest stack at this moment. Just calls it around to Kevin with a seven. And he says, fine, let's do it. And the flop has come 10, 9, 5. A good flop for Kate. She's out in front with two nines, but she's going to check them. Just get a feel where she's at. Kevin checks the ace high. And Ben also checks. So Kate's got to like it. Now a jack comes off. So Kate now has an open end straight draw with her two nines. Will she bet here? She does not. She checks. Kevin, gut shot straight, and the ace high. He says, you know, nobody bet on the flop. Let me bet here and see what happens. 180,000. Ben has the open end straight draw. He's gonna make the call. And now what Kate, what is she gonna do with two nines and an open end straight draw? A lot of money out there, Ben. It's gonna cost her 180 to call. She has the best hand, and she is going to make the call. Hoping her hand stays out in front or catches a straight. Let's go to the river. No, it's an ace. That's going to help Eister, of course. Yep, Kevin Eister now has the lead with two aces. Action on Kate with two nines. She checks. Now Kevin was bluffing on the turn. Now he's got a hand. No need to bluff. Just going to check it down. Hope his aces are good. And now you with absolutely nothing. 
400,000. Now Kate's in a quandary. Could she possibly call with two nines? She would have been beat, of course. And she does make the call with the two nines. But Kevin could make the call and win the pot with two aces. Sticking around with nothing, but now he's going to make the good it's call. It's a really bad bluff when you get called in two spots. And a nine. Kevin Eister is going to win this pot with two aces. One bear. Let's go. Nice pot for Eister, the chip leader. Security. <laughs> oh boy. Should have knew he was up and center and snapped, and I'm out of there. I'm honking for sure. I need to say. The tank call got you to the wall, stand. We were both on the same page, one of these bluffing, but I figured I had you and I had that really. But right now, Kate Hall on the short stack, and she's hurting. Let's go to the felt. Bill Jennings first to play. Queen eight of clubs. Stays in the conservative mode and folds just to watch the action. Ben is going to bet ace high here. Looks like he's going to raise it to 240,000. Kate with two fives moving all in. Can't blame her. I mean, she's only got like four big blinds. Yeah, she has pushed and Isa goes out. Jake, king high, doesn't play, so they flip him up. So we have a race. Kate with the under pair, Ben with the over cards. Kate Hall's tournament life on the line here. She's just hoping that the two five somehow sneak through. I'll take it. Let's see if Kate's hand can hold up. It's a jack seven three, so no sevens for Ben Yu. Yeah, Ben is taking the lead on the flop. Kate now must catch a five or two running cards to make it straight. Otherwise, she'll be our fifth place finisher. Well, a couple good poker players there, Dan O'Brien, Christian Harder. Deuce on the turn, no luck for Kate there. Kate Hall must catch a five on the river or she'll finish in fifth place. River card, seven of diamonds, not to be for Kate Hall. What a performance by her event this week. She's played four WPT events this season. She's cashed all four times, made two final tables, finished fifth at both of those. Let me be the first to salute you, Kate. What a year you're having out here on the World Poker Tour. Incredible. Yes, the former lawyer, she's a phenomenon, only been playing poker for two years, finishes fifth, gonna take home 291,000. Let's go talk to Kate. I think that um, I did everything that I could. I unfortunately didn't really have many cards that I could play or even shove with. Um, there were only a couple and I got it in where I could. Um, but you know, that's just kind of what happens when you come in pretty short to a final table. I intend to keep playing and uh, hopefully be back here soon. Action on Ben Yu, pair of fours. And he will just call it. Kevin going out, Jake out as well. And now the Floridian Bill Jennings with King Nine says, let's go to the flop. You know, flop ace, king, do So Bill out in front now with the two kings. He's gonna check. Ben with two fours. Hoping his opponent doesn't have an ace or a king. Gonna bet 125,000. Raise. Well, Bill's going to raise him. Jake Schwartz hitting the jib camera. That's got to hurt. He just doesn't stay in his seat, Vince. This time it cost him with a bonk in the head. The re raise is going to work by Bill. Well, Bill wisely figuring out that Ben didn't have an ace in his hand. He didn't raise pre flop, so he checked raise with Kings. Proud of himself. Yep, and that's doubt in the audience. Especially proud of his pupil, Bill Jennings. Yeah, Matt, not only a great poker player, great ambassador for poker, raises a lot of money in charity events to help worthy causes. Well, Bill goes out of this one, and Ben now with a queen eight. Seems to like it. 
Makes it 2.40 to go. Kevin going out, and now Jake Schwartz, 24 years old, looks down at a pair of fives. He just calls it. And the flop is at 8-8, eight, eight, Jack, three of a kind for Ben Yu. Could be a little trouble for Jake. He checks anytime a pair comes on the board and you have a pair in your hand, it's hard to get away from the hand. You know the original Razor is going to continuation bet no matter what he's got, just like Ben is doing here. But unfortunately for Jake, Ben flopped three eighths. And Jake does make the call. Now a 10 comes off, so possible straight out there now as well. Now Jake checks. Well, Ben's not going to let up. And he's going to bet three eighths again. I think it's an easy getaway now from the two fives. Half a million. You know, what can you beat here? I mean, basically, all you can beat is like an ace queen or an ace nine. And if your opponent had that, there's a great chance he's going to check on the turn. But Jake pays him off here for 500,000. And now an eight comes on the river. This gives Jake a full house. Ben Yu with four of a kind. Jake is going to check. And Ben is certainly going to bet just a matter of how much. There's just over two million in the pot. Looks like 900,000. Well, Vince, when you call on the flop, you call on the turn, you know, do you call one more time here? You have a full house, but still. If you call this, you might as well take that little shirt string that you're sucking on and just wrap it around your neck. That's all I have to say. Oh, he boy. does make the call, he Vince. He's doing it. No good. <laughs> no good. Well, a sarcastic no good by Jake, but truthfully, I think he should have got away from the hand on the turn. That would have saved him 1.4 million. Oh, pain and loathing going on at Bellagio for Jake Schwartz, the New Yorker. Four players are competing for the championship. We're coming right back for more on the World Poker Tour. WPT Global is committed to being the most fair and secure poker site in the world. Data-driven AI detection technology eliminates collusion and ensures a fair environment for everyone. With zero tolerance for bots and cheaters, WPT Global is trusted by millions of players worldwide. Click the link in the description, use the code YT11 on deposit, and get our welcome package with tournament tickets, deposit match, and more. Four-handed poker for the championship, and the Annies are going up to 20,000. Blinds are 60s, 120. Yeah, and the two guys that have done the best at this final table are the two chip leaders. Kevin Eister with 10.2 million has nearly doubled his starting stack <laughs> since the final table started. And Ben Yu has nearly tripled his starting stack. And action's on Ben now. Yeah. Looks down to two threes. And he's getting out raising chips. Yeah, it's going to make it 270 to go into Kevin Eister, the chip leader. And Kevin has picked up a pair of kings. He is just calling here. Yep. Does not re-raise with two kings. Now Jake Schwartz in the small blind with ace-10 of diamonds. Yeah, he's on the short stack, and he's going to shove all in. Vince, he's trying to squeeze here, just yep. trying to pick up the pot. He has no idea that Kevin Eister is this strong. Bill gets out of the way. Now back on Ben. And he's thinking, is this guy just trying to squeeze me? Well, Jake is on the short stack. Just has 1.2 million in total. That cost Ben another oh. 900,000 to make the call, and he does so. Come on. And now all of a sudden, Kevin Eister goes all in over the top. And Ben now. Well, no way he can call now, Vince. No. He knows Kevin was slow playing a monster. He mucks it. So Kevin Eister has two kings. Jake Schwartz with ace, ten of diamonds. The guys that were rooting for Kate Hall now switch their allegiance over to Jake Schwartz. <laughs> well, there's Kevin's Cajun buddies over there. They know their man's got way the best hand. Two kings up against ace, ten. And nothing's gone right for Jake Schwartz. Came out of here as the chip leader. Let's go to the flop. It's an ace jack six. So aces for Jake Schwartz. He has outflopped the Kings. Well, Jake came to this final table as a big chip leader. Lost that monster pot with two queens versus two aces. 
now has a chance to get back in this thing if the Aces hold up. He just doesn't even want to watch, Vince. He just sort of cowered down, said, just tell me when it's over. And a seven. Kevin must catch a king on the river to win this pot and eliminate Jake Schwartz. Otherwise, we still have four players left. It's an eight of hearts. It's going to work out for Jake Schwartz. Upset the quality hand. He can't believe it himself. Jake Schwartz tripling up for finally something going right for him tonight. Let's go down to the money pit. Bill Jennings looks at a very attractive ace jack. Now, Bill's played extremely conservative so far at this final table, and I can assure you these other three guys have noticed. So when he gets out raising chips, he has to get respect. And he's raising here to 240. Ben and Kevin quickly fold. 240. And Jake, with just a king seven of spade, wants to see a flop, so he's going to make the call. Doesn't care how tight the guy's been playing. And the flop comes queen, queen, 10. Jake checks, and Bill checks right behind him. No continuation bet. Now the deuce of spade comes off. This gives Jake a flush draw. He checks. Again, Bill checks. And now a seven comes off, giving Jake the best hand. Queens and sevens. And Jake felt like he was behind the whole way. Well, now he's got to feel like he's ahead, Vince. Going to try to get a value bet in here. 240,000. Bill's thinking to himself, why didn't I just bet this? He might be thinking he's got the best hand here with Ace Jack. I call. He makes the call, he loses the pot. And now he's thinking, why didn't I make the continuation bet? And I can assure you, the next poker lesson he gets from Matt Stout will be on the continuation bet. I knew you hit that seven. <laughs> I mean, I had a lot of outs. I just knew it. I actually meant to make it a little bigger. Jake been... can't wipe the smile off his face now. Things finally going right for him tonight. Even that string in his mouth is tasting good. Oh, life is good at the... Now, there's the beautiful Aura Solid Gold MasterCard, and that is preloaded with $10,000, and that goes to our champion, as well as all the money. Fantastic addition for whoever wins this tournament. Come on. Bill is moving all in with the two queens. Yep, he's down to the short stack. Ben goes out. Kevin Eister. Call. Has ace eight, will make the call. He's got plenty of chips, can well afford yeah. to make it. Target wins. He knows Bill's only got about seven big blinds. Good luck, Bill. Thanks, man. Bill's queens hold up. We'll still have four players. Now flop comes king, jack, seven. Two clubs, so the two queens of Bill's still out front. Yeah, nothing scary so far for Bill. The former race car driver, family man. Gotta sweat the turn. Yeah, Vince, he's looking to get to the checkered flag in this tournament. And that'll help him. A queen comes off on the turn. He's got three queens, but can still lose the pot. Kevin catches a 10. He'll make an ace high straight to win it. I improved. Must catch a 10. That would just be a miserable story to have to tell back in Florida. We're going to the river. Can Bill's hand hold up? There's a queen. So four queens by Bill Jennings is going to win this pot. Second time we've seen quads at this final table. Ben, you had four eights. Now Bill Jennings has four queens. Boom! <laughs> 240. We'll move it up with Jack High to 240. Into the New Yorker, Jake Schwartz, who's on a comeback trail. He's got a pair of kings. Well, Jake just cracked two kings a minute ago to win a monster pot. And now he's picked up two kings against the same guy. And he's going to three bet it here to 735,000. And to Bill, who quickly folds his hand. Back on Kevin, Jack High. No, Kevin's not going to play this. So yep. Jake Schwartz continuing to add more chips to his stack. Much to the delight of his frat buddies. Action on Ben Yu. He's got ace 10. From Los Angeles, the 29 year old Professor Ben. Well, you're certainly going to raise in a four handed poker game with this hand, and Ben doing just that, looks like. 
Yep, 270,000 to go. Into Eister, who has a queen, nine of hearts. And the button. And he's in position, he's a chip leader, he makes the call. Jake, which is the king five, goes out. Now Bill Jennings with the king, queen of diamonds. Come on. Oh, he's moved all in over the top. Love this bet by him, Vince. Big pressure. I mean, ben knows how tight this guy's been playing. He's gonna give up the ace-10. Just under two, Kevin. Okay. Yeah, I just want to know exact. I don't think I'm going ever just for future. Make him count down the chips. And Vince, I can assure you, the teacher is gonna pat the people on the back for the way he played this hand. A nice all-in bet there by Bill Jennings to pick up the pot. Yeah, Kevin can't take the heat. Bill Jennings looking good with the pose here tonight. Ben Yu from Los Angeles, California. Won't play that mess. Kevin, originally out of Louisiana. Will makes it 240 to go. Jake out. Bill Jennings now in Big blind with the 10 8 of clubs is going to make the call here. So Kevin raised with the Jack Deuce. Gets called by the 10 8. And a 10 comes up. So Bill has top pair. Kevin has bottom pair. Yeah, they both caught something there. And Bill's going to bet it 200,000 with his 10s. Jake has got a piece of that, but... Kevin has deuces, so let's see what he does. He's going to stick around and call. Going to the turn, six of clubs. Bill's going to check. Just can't imagine Kevin would bet here, and he doesn't. He checks also, and a seven comes off. Well, Bill's going to check again. Kevin also checks. Bill Jennings going to win the pot with two tens. The biggest cash Bill has ever had all time is 54,000. Certainly going to shatter that number tonight wherever he finishes. All right, action right back on Bill. He looks like he's really enjoying this experience. Well, why wouldn't you? Picking up two kings, win a pot with 10-8, now you pick up ace-king. We know he's going to play this hand. Went all in on that prior hand, and it paid off. But this time, going to just double it up. 240 to go. Ben Yu with a queen-jack won't play. Kevin out. How much? And now Jake Schwartz with an ace-jack. How much did you start the hand with, approximately? 2.5. I call. Wow. Jake goes all in and gets called. Yeah, Jake in a terrible place has pushed. Little did he know how strong Bill's hand was. Well, little did he know how many chips he's got, Vince, because Bill has more chips than he announced, which was 2.5 million. It's I mean, I should have asked for an exact. I should have. He just said 2.5. Well, now Jake's realizing it, and maybe it would have made a difference. Well, it may have, Vince. He said 2.5. He knew even if he lost the pot, he'd still have half his chips left, but now he's not going to have near that amount. Maybe Jake could outflop him here. Let's see. No, it's a king. 9-6, two clubs. King's there for Bill Jennings. Well, great flop for Bill. How do you like your chance right now? Pretty good? Pretty good. Jake now has to catch two runners to win this pot. Pretty big dog at this point. Bill well out in front to double up, and it's a five on the turn. So Jake Schwartz drawn dead here. Now we're going to find out exactly how many chips that Bill Jennings had. And it is more than 2.5 million, and Jake is not a happy camper about it. Are you kidding me? It's like 3.5. That's why I made him break it down. I wouldn't even call on 100%. I just want to know what it was for future just in case he tries to say that again. That's like 3.5. All right, I guess 
I guess it's cool to angle at final tables for hundreds of thousands hey, of dollars. Uh, Jake, Jake, I looked at the screen. It said 2.45 the last time the I looked. The screen's obviously wrong. Hey, ask for a count then. I did. You said 2.5. Well, then count it out next time. Stack your chips like a normal human being. Well, that's why I stacked them that way, so you'd make a bad decision. Hey, we're cheating these days. It's cool.